Hey, good morning. This is Melvin Thomas Jr. And this is day number five of the Joyful Walkers Challenge. My challenge has been 300 crunches um, every morning uh, during this challenge. And um, I, first of all, let me say thank you to the Joyful Walkers for this challenge. Because without the challenge, most likely... I would not be doing 300 crunches every morning, even though I need to do them. Um, so thank you, Joyful Walkers, for the challenge. As I said yesterday, uh, I often uh, begin the morning uh, with uh, some kind of devotion. You know, every day I'm working on my mind, I'm working on my money, and I'm working on my muscles. And so I'm working on the muscles in this abdomen and building and strengthening my core. Uh, and also strengthening my mind. Recently, a good friend of mine sent me a book that he finished, the Paul Wilson Jr. And this is uh, a God-inspired process to turn your big idea into a dream business. It's really blessing me. So, uh, I would be a great, great thing if you would get this book. I, it'd be a blessing to you. Just want to share a little nugget here: How to define God ideas. Um, have you ever wondered to yourself when you got an idea or something, is this a good idea or a God idea? Or is there a difference between a good idea and a God idea? Um, he helps us with that. How to define God ideas. He says in his book on page 49, how to define God ideas. He says, God doesn't need to use get rich quick schemes or gimmicks to bring wealth into your business. On the other hand, he will give you innovative ideas, keen insights, witty inventions to create products or services that produce wealth. So let's define some criteria for what a good idea and a, or, or the difference between a good idea and what a God idea should look like. Number one, uh, it should be providential. It's connected to God's overall plan to advance his kingdom on the planet. Number two, partnership. God often gives seemingly impossible opportunities that require his supernatural intervention and, and human help. It will also require a great deal of faith as you realize you are wholly uh, inadequate for the task. If you can do it by yourself without much faith needed, it probably didn't come from God. Purpose driven. Uh, it's connected to your individual God-given purpose. Although they may be uncomfortable or unfamiliar, his ideas will not lead you into something that's outside of his ultimate plan for your life. Number four, people focus. It's going to bless other people, not just benefit you. It may not have a Christian label on it, but it should be able to enhance your relational exposure and create opportunities for interactions. Practical. It meets a real need or satisfies a desire that doesn't dishonor God. Although the source is supernatural, the application and implementation will be tangible. He's not going to give you an idea for a product or service that nobody needs or wants. Provision. God's plans always come with provision which means he will also give you the idea or ideas for how to fund it. If you don't have clarity on that yet, it might, be, might not be time for you to move forward with it. Last but not least, profitable. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Proverbs 10.22 Your idea with the right plan and execution will have financial rewards connected to it. Further, you should be able to get it done without having to go into excessive debt, which would cause you sorrow instead of joy. I'm Melvin Thomas Jr. I'm going to get these crunches done. I'm going to call this Faithful Friday. I trust you've been faithful to your challenge. Have a blessed day. Okay.